Today I'm going to repot this rabbit foot fern or Dvalia faginus. Um, this rabbit foot fern is completely and utterly root bound. How I know this is because the aerial roots start to cover the top soil. Um, not only have the aerial roots you'll see here covered the top soil, but they've also covered the entire pot. You can see right from under there. So on the internet, I did some research and there is very little advice on how to repot something like this. Um, most repotting of these guys are where they are already, um, they're not root bound. So you don't have to deal with, with all the aerial roots. So I thought this would be quite fun and experimental for me to do. Um, I am aware that I might kill part of this plant while repotting it. Um, depending on what we get after, re after taking it out of this pot, if it's a nice whole piece and whole root ball, we will pot it into this larger pot. It's about two sizes up from the pot that it's in now. Or we will divide it and pot it up into small, three smaller pots. Um, like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to find. So this might be a complete disaster, um, in which case you have got it more realized. Okay, so I'm going to stand up a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm slowly feeling up the aerial roots. I'm slowly trying to loosen them from each other. Just bringing them up so you can see the terracotta. Here's a root coming out of the bottom, breaking it off from the bottom. Okay. Then slowly lifting it up over the top, just bringing it as I go along. Um, slowly but surely then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it upside down oh my goodness look how root bound it is here at the bottom already I can see look at that look at that those are all thin webbed roots okay I'm gonna try and pull it out by its aerial roots but they are very fragile and it's very very hard Okay, so this is not coming out. This is not coming out. Let me just try one more time. Uh -uh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen it on the sides with a fork. Okay, I'm going to just stick it down the sides, this fork, down the sides. If I can get there, some of the roots I am breaking off. Okay, let's try the other side. I feel like I'm wrestling here. Okay, there we go. I see a little bit of a break coming. I see the soil coming away from the pot. I haven't watered it recently. Um, I wonder if that would have made a difference. Okay, I'm going to try and pull it out again. I'm sticking my fingers down the side of the pot as far as they can go, which is not very far. Okay, guys, I'm going to pull. Let's see what comes out. can hear it oh, I feel so bad this was a plant I inherited it about five six five years ago so the fact that I haven't done anything to it a it was very happy so it just went crazy but it just goes to show what environmental pressure these plants can put up with being in a forest originating from a forest there's a lot of root competition going on which is why aerial roots are so important okay now that i've pulled it out i'm going to go back in there down the side see if i can get any further okay you know if we batter the odd leaf that's okay um in fact it's probably better to take off the odd leaf so that when the plant is readjusting with its roots it doesn't have to spend as much energy. Look at this fork is bending. Okay. Looks like awkward sign language. Okay. Let's give this another try. I can need to stand up. Oh. Wow. Look at that, people. 
Okay, so this is, I'm going to have to take the roots apart just a little bit. There's some stone here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to have to open the plant up a little bit. That is very, 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 very root bound. Um, there is almost, there is zero soil left in here. It is just roots. So I'm breaking it apart a little bit. Probably just dividing it. I, I think I'm going to divide it, guys. I don't know what's going to come out of it. Okay, here a small piece comes out. Um, I will plant the main pot in the main guy back in there. Okay. This little tiny piece has got the odd leaf that is gonna. I'm just unraveling the aerial roots. They are quite wound up. And because this guy is so root bound, um, the roots are slightly dry. Okay, this is what came off the smaller one that I pulled off. It's two leaves, four aerial roots and a very very root bound thing root bound ball of roots okay this is what i've got here so what we're gonna do we're gonna take we won't put stones at the bottom i don't believe in stones at the bottom um that was either five years ago my trick back then or somebody else gave it to me like that um Right, we've got some really nice potting soil here. Oh, chopped it up a bit too much. Okay. Guys, I wonder what this plant is going to do after being root bound for so long, if it's going to go absolutely crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bury some of the aerial roots. I figure um, that won't do it any harm. Okay, it's like so difficult. I don't even know how I'm gonna pour the, the, the soil in here because there's just so many roots, so many aerial roots. And I don't know which ones are attached to leaves or not. Okay, well, I'm just making a massive hole here in the middle. So the aerial roots will still be on the side. And I'm topping it up. And we're almost done. Okay, so I'm topping it up in the top here. Shaking it around so that the soil falls to the bottom so that it equalizes a little bit because obviously you can't get into all the spaces. So this just helps. This just helps. Okay. Right, that is a repotted rabbit foot fern. Um, thank you for joining me on this experiment and I'm glad we didn't kill the fern, not yet in any case. Um, I will keep you updated on its progress.